Many of us own refrigerators. They come in handy, especially when you need a late night snack after staying up studying, something many of us at Holy Names have become accustomed to. While this appliance is involved in our everyday lives, do we really know how it works? There are five types of refrigeration. These are the ice box, cold air systems, vapor compression, vapor absorption, and thermoelectric. Outlined here is a basic diagram of the different parts of a refrigerator that help it do its job. Lay down your slow, come settle down, settle down. The main parts of this appliance are the cold box, the compressor, the condenser, the expansion valve, and lastly, the evaporator. All five of these things are crucial to the overall function of the refrigerator. Vapor compression is the most common of all of the refrigeration cycles and it is also used as a method for air conditioning of buildings and automobiles. Imagine it is a hot summer day and you and your friends want a cold drink. You have one gallon of water. It is at 21.1 degrees Celsius and you want to cool it down to 4.4 degrees Celsius. If we were to think of the situation mathematically, we would have to determine how much energy it would take to cool the water down to the desired temperature. This problem can be solved by using the formula Q equals MC times TI minus TF, where Q is the energy, M is the mass, C is the heat capacity, and the difference between the initial temperature and the final temperature is at the end. After writing out all of the necessary information, you can plug these values into the equation to solve for the energy, which will be represented in joules. <laughs> 